Now, I also know that there's a lot more to the bill. I mean, there's some incredible things that are being done for science, uh, maybe have us catch up to others uh, or go ahead of them. And also a lot that is going to allow you to be uh, have centers of technology excellence. What will those look like? Yeah, it's incredible opportunity. You and I talk all the time about the chips and the fabs, which is huge. But there are billions of dollars in here for basic research in the field of semiconductors and materials. And then there will be these hubs, uh, technology hubs, which will be really public-private partnerships between companies, the government, universities, mm -hmm. to advance research and development in particular areas. And that, to me, is almost more exciting. You know, we have to get back into the business of out-innovating China. Right? It's not just you know, protecting ourselves from China defensively, but how about running some offense, running faster? So you could imagine this, you know, collaborations between great US research institutions, universities, some of these companies, federal government funding to really move forward with design of chips or uh, new substrates, new chemicals, new R&D. That's really exciting to me to work on that piece of it. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.